Do you need to create a virtual cloud network with internet connectivity on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure? The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Console provides two ways to create a VCN. In this video, we will cover using the VCN wizard to create a virtual cloud network. A VCN is a virtual private network that can be set up in an OCI tenancy and compartment. It closely resembles a traditional network with firewall rules and specific types of communication gateways that can be customized for specific networking needs. The VCN wizard is an efficient process for adding a VCN, but creates a specific virtual cloud network structure and related resources. This VCN diagram displays the network structure and resources that are created when using the VCN wizard. The VCN wizard creates a virtual cloud network that includes the following resources. A VCN, public subnet, private subnet, internet gateway, NAT gateway, service gateway, and more. To learn more about creating a virtual cloud network using the more comprehensive non-wizard method, watch this video or review this documentation. Let's get started with the VCN wizard by signing into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Console using your cloud tenancy name, username, and password. Next, we will navigate to the networking page by opening the menu in the top left corner, scrolling down to networking, and then selecting virtual cloud networks. If a compartment has not been selected, then navigate to the list scope menu on the left hand side and select the appropriate compartment to create the VCN. This page would normally list VCNs that already exist in the compartment, but for this video, we will add our first VCN. Next, we will select Start VCN Wizard. The Start VCN Wizard pop up menu displays our default VCN. Select Create VCN with Internet Connectivity, and then click the Start VCN Wizard button. On the Configuration page, enter a VCN name. Scroll down to review and change the CIDR block values for the VCN, public subnet, and private subnets. Each subnet has a contiguous range of IP addresses, described in CIDR notation. Subnet IP addresses ranges can't overlap. For more information on working with multiple VCN or selecting CIDR block values for multiple subnets, visit Oracle documentation. Before clicking the next button, make sure to review your DNS resolution selection as this choice cannot be undone after the VCN wizard has created the virtual cloud network. On the next page, review the VCN and resource details. This is where we can view details of the VCN that are automatically populated as part of the VCN wizard creation method like routing table names for the internet gateway and DNS labels for the VCN resources. Review the routing table rules and security list rules by clicking show rules. When you are done reviewing, click the create button. The VCN wizard begins to create the VCN and associated resources. When that is complete, click the View Virtual Cloud Network button. Now that our VCN has been created, let's review the resource table and look back at our VCN diagram. Our VCN now has the necessary resources, routing tables and rules to bring internet connectivity to the public and private subnets, and private connectivity to the Oracle Services Network. 